more dominant. Yeah, keeper made seven saves in the game. Yeah, no, he had a hell of a game. Um, yeah, we probably should have won the game more comfortably, but it was always going to be a tricky one for us. Um, yeah, as much as you want to try and put it to one side, losing four games is bound to affect, you know, the players and you know, there's always a bit of stress and anxiety. Um, and Burnley really had to go for it today. They had nothing to lose and I mean, they had a lot to lose, obviously, but in terms of their approach and, um, you know, I thought in the first half we, we, we controlled the game really well. We, again, I thought we were just a bit anxious in the front third with our decision making. We could have made much more of the opportunities we had. But um, I thought Pedro's goal before half time was really important. And then second half we were dominant. And, and you know, we always are. We always finish games strong. We, we have. It's just that we've let games get away from us. But today we were right in it. And um, yeah, pleasing, pleasing for the players that, and credit to them that they could sort of, uh, you know, not get too um, wound up, I guess, inside about <coughs> getting a win and just play their football. Mickey Van Der Ven, quality of his dinner. <coughs> Does that just show you can kind of play him any is that kind of player you could play him anywhere and he'd do a great job for you? Yeah, there's no doubt. He's, he's look you now that's the exciting bit look for me that there's a lot of these guys, it's Mickey's first year in the Premier Premier League, um <coughs> Vicario's um, you know, Destiny's Pappy's sort of first full season. There's there's so much growth in us and I think what we've been through this year, both good and bad, I just think is 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 great for these guys and you know, um, you know, Mickey's certainly at the forefront of that. He's um, he's had an outstanding year. Obviously, he's had a couple of injury problems, and even that, he's he's bounced back so well from them um, to maintain a, a really elite level of performance. So, um, couldn't be happier for him. Well, this is a different level of opposition today and what you're facing Tuesday. But does the way he's played at left back give you another potential option for there, and obviously Skippy as well? Yeah, I mean, look, at the same time, I. I, I I've been mindful with Mickey. You know, he's had a couple of injuries this year, and, and the demands of playing left back are a lot different than playing a centre back. And I just got to be careful. For me, what's more important is, you know, we, what we're trying to build here. And I don't want to, you know, I, I was reluctant to put him out there because of, you know, that reason alone. That you know, he's he's, he's had a sort of disrupted season, and um, you know, playing full back as opposed to you know, playing centre-back is a lot different from a physical perspective. But you know, I thought for the last half hour today it made sense. Uh, <clears throat> you know, he looked strong. Skippy was never going to get through more than 60 minutes. He hasn't played for ages. Um, and um, and Rado coming on, I thought, was, was very good as well. So you know, it, was, it helped us sort of get over the line. And obviously Mickey's goal was outstanding. Richarlison's injury left you even shorter for the yeah. options off the bench. Did you feel like you had to sort of get quite creative with the substitution? Yeah, players? a little bit, yeah. I mean, it was just unfortunate. I mean, I mean, I know I did the press conference yesterday, but it literally was the last kick of the game. I saw him hobble off, but I assumed it was nothing serious. And then, uh, you know, he didn't get any better uh, later on in the evening, and then he, had, he was sent for a scan on his calf. Um, I still don't know the results of that, to be honest, but watching him today, he was still sort of hobbling about. So, so yeah, that made it difficult for us because... <clears throat> You know, it, it kind of, like I said, I had to get a bit creative with the way we kind of set up. Um, knowing in the last half hour we we would probably be dominant from a physical perspective because we have been pretty consistently, is at least having a setup that gave us a chance to, you know, um, take advantage of the, the chances we had. And, um, you know, Dane came on and worked really hard. I thought Rodri was, was really good when he came on as well. So, as I said, Rada did well, so I thought the, the subs uh, made an impact. And you said yesterday that you still believed you could, could get top four. I'm guessing after this result, you know, the belief of the players now would have gone for the roof, thinking it's definitely still there. Well, you know, we, we've, we've still got six points to play for, so, you know, that's that's the key thing for us. And, uh, you know, as you know, like I said, we've got a big game on Tuesday night against City here, and it'll be a great test for us, and we've got Sheffield United away. So, let's uh, we'll see, you know, where we can get to, you know, playing our football and, you know, several points we get and where we end up. So, um, But today was important, I think, for the supporters and, and for the players, like I said, because when you lose four in a row, irrespective of the circumstances and <clears throat> the opposition, it, it you know, it, it does... It can weigh on your mind, it can dent your confidence and belief and um, I thought they handled it well today and um, at least that gives us now a platform to tackle these last two games. And, you know, talking about the next game, obviously, against City, a massive... Uh Massive game for both teams. Do you think you've got what it takes to, to cause a bit of an upset there? 
I think um, we've got what it takes to, to to make a game and play our football and see where that takes us. They're they're an outstanding team. They're you know, I guess Arsenal and them are the benchmark of the competition right now. They're I think they're twenty odd points ahead of us, so we've got some ground ground to make up. But <coughs> it's at our place. It's ninety five minutes of football, and we're going to have a crack. Okay, thanks.